one in ten young people suffers a mental health problem, but too many of the sickest children in England are being failed by the NHS. She understands what's happening, but it makes her frustrated. This woman's 12-year-old daughter, who doesn't want to be identified, was sent to a hospital 130 miles from home. The distance made life more difficult. Hearing your child crying down the phone, saying, Mummy, I just need you, and being so far away where you just can't go and give that her a hug when she's 12, it's, it just tears your heart apart. Other young people have been sent even greater distances. Freedom of information requests to mental health trusts show that children are travelling up to 275 miles for a psychiatric bed. 350 young people have been treated on adult wards so far this year, some as young as 12. That's an increase of more than a third on last year. We ought to be concerned. Children in mental health wards where there are adults who are seriously disturbed and very sick, it isn't appropriate. Their dignity, their privacy their security, are all challenged. This is what the NHS promised all severely ill young people six years ago, a bed in an adolescent unit. It never happened. The Department of Health now say they're investing over £50 million to improve mental health services for young people. Michael Buchanan, BBC News.